Greetings and salutations everyone. It's time once again for another Road Least Taken video. Of course, Samus. Uh, we're ready for they attack the 12. Take me to the 12 and I'll deal with the shenanigans. Yeah. Now there's 13 floors in the 12. Seems wrong, doesn't it? Turn the sounds are incorrect to me. All right, subversion. They need to put an airship teleporter in. Oh, keep of the borderlands. I don't think they want that, but you can use that uh, portal to teleport around some, right? I think you can use that portal to go to your airship. Just don't know if you can take your airship to keep on the borderlands. After a long march through the hidden cave complex, I don't remember that, to be honest. All right, so we're gonna get these guys doing their thing. We can't. We want to go through this uh, force field to get the lever, but we can't. Uh, so we gotta pull all these levers to lower the force field. Each one of these levers will lower a uh, elemental of some sort. Go away. To use a codex page to gain. Yeah, but I haven't I haven't been out there since the update. Get to work. The same kind of thing, we're gonna apply a bunch of con damage to help lower their fortitude save, and we're gonna apply a finger of death. This is ex the, exactly the kind of thing I was talking about in the previous video that that uh, makes a big difference for that's got a crown of some sort. But he's taking damage. He's out of here. Take care of it. Seventy-one fragments. Not bad. Another champ. It was easy to tell that that one was a champ because it had taken a bunch of damage and then got healed. As the last guardian falls, a beam of energy. So we go over here. We pull this lever. Strikes a magical field across the hall. All right. Now we have waves and waves of nonsense. So we got to fight our way up to get these two crests that go into that that uh, portal or the, in the side of the hallway there to lower the force field. There we go. And depending on who you are, you've got a couple of different methods that you like doing. Uh, I've actually known quite a few people who are all about getting the AOEs together here in the middle of the room and kind of messing getting everybody at once. Um, I tend to not want to do that because things get a little crazy, but it's very hard to do the other way. So, by hard to do, I mean it's just difficult to not accidentally get everything within at once here. Baron has pulled himself in the middle of that fight. It's not a good place for him to be. Another blue circle. Alright, we caught a couple with that one. It looks like a fire ball, perhaps, and also a lightning bolt face at the same time. Let's give that guy a finger. This light bear, we won't be able to do anything crazy, but. Alright. Fortunately, there's a shrine right there, so Gurb can get to work. Get busy coming back. Come on, Dorcas. Res me. Or not res me. Heal me. You know your place. Alright, we got two bookshelves and a lever. I don't actually know what this lever does. Guess we'll just blindly pull it and hope for good things. Hello. 
road, a silver, uh, secret door. Uh, yeah, we can do some stuff. Jason, that's fine. Probably won't record the videos, but we can do some stuff. All right. Yeah, exactly. What is the worst that can happen? I think that opens this uh, door is what I think, I think it does. But I'll know that to be sure. All right, so we're Something walking through. These crates seems strange. Where is it? Oh, this one's just right here. Never mind. Duh. Uh, this one, on the other hand, is up. Why? Break. It wouldn't let me. Let me break. Smash. Hmm. For some reason, I can't seem to get past. Can't get that box broken. There we go. There we go. Now we got him smashed. Anyway, we're up high and we walk around a little bit till we can find the other crest. There we go. You guys know why these are the least taken video, right? Of course you do. We don't know them very well, that's why. Alright. Uh, we're going to get a couple of more waves, at least, of shenanigans here. I have the feeling my little brother is starting his own t-shirt business. And if that is the case, I might let him do our, our uh, t-shirts. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, I moved it over here. goodness one of the worst things about this quest is just it feels like you go one step forward and three steps back because there's just so many mobs and so much backtracking maybe I'm the only one that feels that way about this quest but it's this is really how it feels to me
All right, so you'll see this great right, or gate right here, for example. We actually have to go to the end of the hallway, pull some levers so some of these gates open so we can come back here and open some of these gates. Although, I believe if you have the ability to pick locks, it will cast a very high-powered knock. You don't have to come back. So I think we'll give that a shot. Which means... Do I want a shrine for Hmm, that is a question. So we're not, we're almost like equal distance to a shrine right here. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll go back and shrine. Well... You know what? We actually have plenty of stuff. We'll, except for mana. We'll actually just get a heal really fast and then move it back on. I don't want to teleporting to us because those doorways will probably still spawn um, with monsters even though we don't reapproach. I don't I don't want them to spawn because of him. Alright, so we're going to hug this wall and even go down this direction like this because I don't want to spawn that fight if we can help it. Same thing here. Like, if we don't have to deal with that fight, I don't want to have to deal with it. I think we gotta have a much tighter circle here for, our, for this process of moving through. Oh, good, we got the light bearer. So I was really trying to focus down. People who uh, watched a lot of these videos on my stream know that light bears and Archon um, champs are some of the ones that I like the least. Also, not a huge fan of the Stone Guard ones, to be honest, either. Alright, summon our helper. Alright, so let's give this a shot. Oh. Alright, well we failed to open the lock, but that's not the point. The point was to let us try. So let's put on our open lock item. We also rolled a... Oh, there we go. Now we rolled a 4. I was going to say we rolled a 4 and a 1, but we didn't have our plus 7 uh, item on us now. Now, of course, we did for our last attempt. away from Durham. Alright, there's kind of an interesting um, optional here. Not so much in the actual optional itself, but the path to get to it. So you have to pull all these little valves in this room. Including that little bitty teeny tiny one. And then you can come back over here. See what I talked about before about all the back and forth though? Then you can pull this lever and then that opens this door. Now we're going to go down here to a pretty hot fight. I'm going to cool this guy off, though. Apply some bad beats. That's like uh, my kind of optional too, like a little fight, nothing too big, uh, reasonable amount of experience points for the time involved in it, and you know, a, a fine chest. Not a great chest, a fine chest. But... Alright, let's see what 
Dabish, I want to go play. Who wants to play with me? Definitely some class based hate right there. Ooh, that's not right. I would turn around. Now. Let's get his attention. Alright, place your bets. How many? I, oh, I can't believe that's embarrassing. Uh, I think it's going to be 12. Alright. Pause the video, type in the chat, be honest. 60, oh. That's so many more than 12. That's like at least four 12s. Mm. Oh, yeah. Something like a nice warm glass of tea to help get you pumped up for the for the fight all right I'm also going to take a second I'm going to try to figure out this next optional really don't know it that well but I believe yes yeah, so you have like a little bit of a maze here of invisible crates like here's another invisible crate I think what we're looking for is actually like a ladder up. Oh, my magical power to just like magically walk my way to wherever. Then, aha, uh -huh. there we go. Pretty close. And then. Oh, that's my kind of my kind of reward for solving that maze. I thought there's a chest up here or something. Some breakables. I'm down with that. A lever. The lever activates and a wall slides into the floor. Uncovering a hidden passage. Um, what? What a hidden passage? the hidden passages over here. Yeah, I don't want to go down there just yet. I want to make sure that whatever whatever that lever did wasn't in this area somewhere. See, it looks like there's a, whatever it is, is right here. But I, I certainly don't see a secret passage. Does anybody else? Hmm. Now that's got to be the end fight, right? That can't be the secret passage. Aha! Another portal of junk. Yay! Greatest passage ever. Probably should have saved that. I guess it's a one minute cooldown, so it's not a big deal. Just thinking this might allow us to open the end chest in the, in the room here. Huh. 
Yeah, it must be over here. This must be the secret passage they were talking about. Got three levers. Oh, is one of these a like, or most of these a mimic, and one of these are treasure? Race mimic, race mimic, race mimic, race mimic, race mimic. Aha! There's a chest. Always examine your mimic chest closely, folks. What? All right. Are there more? Just that. All right, let's get them all together. Oh man, I have to remember this room for the Mimicon. Remember, if you find a Mimic during the Mimicon, you automatically get a Mimic coin. Finish and that was like what six mimics? That could be like six mimic coins a run. That could be real nice actually. That was not that hard to do. That could be a real nice. Alright, alright, that, that optional was not bad. I'll try to remember that in the future. I think and don't quote me, but I believe on uh, Epic Elites, uh, you have to fight some of those robots, but I don't know. All right, let's talk about this room for a second. This room and this end fight, in particular, are very uh, potentially dangerous, okay? So, what I personally like to do, and some people might think this is a little bit cheesy, but I like to stay way down here by where this line is in the in the hallway and what that typically means is that a portal or there'll be a choke point here or something so we are literally as far and like if we start walking backwards now we can't walk any further back for example what we're going to do is we're going to stand all the way back here and we're going to shoot that guy as much as we possibly can from as far away as we can now he's going to spawn trash as his life total adjusts and that trash is going to come in on us. Okay. But, while we're way back here, we have plenty of time to kill him before, before the trash came in. Now we can deal with this group that was uh, awake, as it were, when he kind of came in. Alright, things are getting a little bit close. Alright, let's hit this button. Back up just a little bit. That soul of cruelty is going to be what causes our problem. We need that heal, Durham. We need it today. There we go. So now that the big guy's down, this hallway's clear. And now we can just kind of stick our head back in as necessary to finish to get our chest. Don't know if we can mosey in without these guys seeing us. I think they will. We'll try. Should we? I'm going to go ahead and reroll this chest because it can be... Ah, oh, fatal flaw. Excellent. Uh, not that I actually needed a fatal flaw, but, you know, that is how it is. And then we can just take this detour out. Bam! Sweet and easy. Chicken peasy. All right, so that was Subversion. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, follow buttons. I appreciate it. See you again real soon. Toodles.